This is my Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts display. I can't wait to take you on a magical tour to explore every detail, so let's dive in. At the base of the castle we start with the iconic Hogwarts boathouse where the first year students are arriving for their very first glimpse of Hogwarts. Just across from the boathouse the Triwizard Tournament is in full swing. You can spot Harry Potter bravely rescuing Ron from the clutches of the mermaids while spectators look on in awe. Next to the lake is my custom built Quidditch pitch which I completed earlier this year. In this scene Harry has just caught the golden snitch and the Hogwarts crowd is cheering him on with pure joy. Behind the Quidditch pitch lies the ominous Forbidden Forest, home to my recreation of Aragog's lair. Harry, Ron and Fang look absolutely tiny compared to the sheer size of Aragog. Right behind Aragog's lair is Hagrid's hut, inspired by its appearance in the first two films. The area around the hut is alive with details, wild plants, weeds and even some plump pumpkins ready for harvest. Standing proudly nearby is the Whomping Willow where Harry and Ron are trapped in its powerful branches, being tossed and turned uncontrollably. Now moving to the front of the castle you'll find the Hogwarts Viaduct where an epic duel between Harry Potter and Voldemort is underway. Just behind the viaduct is the quad entrance where you can glimpse some of the rooms inside. Although the quad is still a work in progress it's starting to take shape quite nicely with areas like the Room of Requirement where Harry and Hermione are hiding from Umbridge and Draco. If we lift off one of the buildings in the quad, you can see some detailed classrooms complete with a portrait of Professor Lockhart, a subtle nod to his over-the-top personality. Beside the quad is the Hogwarts Great Hall, which I've modified to open up so you can see inside, revealing the dining tables and a magical atmosphere. Above the Great Hall stands the Great Hall Tower, soaring high into the clouds. At the very top is Dumbledore's office, with his desk, magical artefacts and even the sorting hat on display. Behind Hogwarts we have the Owry, filled with beautifully detailed owls. This area is next on the list for improvement and expansion. Moving along you'll find the Astronomy Tower where Dumbledore and Snape are deep in conversation about their secret plan. Below the tower is the Central Hall which is fairly empty for now though you can catch a glimpse of Snape's potion classroom tucked underneath. Now let's venture outside of Hogwarts to the surrounding areas. First up is my Hogsmeade Diorama. It's still small and in need of some expansion but I'm happy with how it's shaping up so far. Finally we arrive at Diagon Alley, bursting with intricate details that bring this bustling wizarding street to life. The highlight of the street is Gringotts Bank, which is filled with goblins and topped with a stunning dragon. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of my Lego Hogwarts display. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments which part of the display is your favourite and I'll see you in the next video.